Hi there, today we're unboxing a gaming mouse. So this particular one is from Logitech and it's the G502 Lightspeed. So it's a wireless gaming mouse. Details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So let's take a quick look around the packaging. It comes in a nice small box, picture of the mouse on the front there. Coming around the side here, some branding. Coming around the back, we've got a picture of the lower side of the mouse and highlighting the fact that you can actually put weights in there to make it heavier towards the bottom. So this is just like the wired version of the G502, but obviously this is the wireless version. Some details down here, light speed technology used with this. It's got the hero sensor underneath. Weights can be adjusted, as I've already mentioned, and it has 11 programmable buttons. Coming around this side, got some technical specification details here. So light speed wireless technology, power play wireless charging compatible. So if you had a power play wireless charging mouse mat, it will charge that. Dual mode, hyper fast scroll wheel, onboard memory, light sync, RGB lighting, hero 16K resolution is 100 to 16,000 DPI. Max acceleration is 40G. Max speed is 400 IPS. Coming down further, USB report rate is one millisecond, so super fast with this. And battery life, continuous use, default lighting up to 48 hours, no lighting up to 60 hours. Some dimension details there and let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging, so let me quickly go through them one by one. You get these bits and pieces, so first of all, a sticker with G on there, this card with G on the front, if you open it up, thank you for choosing to play with Logitech G, keep playing, some products there, and at the back, their website and social media details. Then we have a setup guide. If I open it up, you can see details regarding connecting it to your computer or turning it on and battery indicator and buttons on there. Coming around the other side, more details on using it together with how to open up the underneath of the mouse and put in the weights. Then we have important safety, compliance and warranty information and this is multi-language. And then finally an appendix. Next we have a case and if I open that up you can see you've got the weights for the mouse plus the USB adapter to provide the connectivity for light speed. And together with that you have this adapter. If I pull it out you can see one end is USB, the other end is micro USB. Next we have a USB charge cable. The length of the cable is 1.7 meters. It's all nicely braided as you can see. Connectors are good on either end. One end is USB and the other end is micro USB. This is the end that connects connected to your mouse and the other end gets plugged into your PC to charge the mouse. And finally, we have the mouse. So in terms of size, from the highest point to the lowest point is 13 centimeters and from left to right, it's seven centimeters. Design wise, very well designed. Ergonomically, it works very well. As you can see, hand placement and obviously even thumb rest, you have there in good positioning. In terms of location of the extra buttons, you can get to them very easily. Now coming around here, you've got some plastic covering it. So let's just remove that. And another piece just over there. And finally, one more over here. Now looking just in there, you've got the micro USB connection point to connect the cable to charge it. And the way that goes in, just like that. And it's quite a nice snug fit in there, as you can see. Coming around the bottom, you've got some pads, one there, one there, another one there, there, and then finally one there. Now to turn the mouse on, you've got the on button there, and that'll turn it on, and you can see the lights coming on here. Now if I lift this, you can see that come away, and this is the area for the weights to weigh it down. Putting that back into position, if I now flip here, there's a location for the charging point, so for the power play. You can also put the USB dongle in there for storage purposes, and just to show the other side of that. Coming around the top, obviously you've seen the light indicator here and here. In terms of finish, you've got a matte finish around most of the locations, some glossy black around there, nice bit of rubber on the scroll wheel itself. You can click left and right on that as well, and if I press here, does a free scroll 
If I press that, it's more of a controlled scroll on that. Coming around just over here, a rubbery finish to this. It's a nice comfortable feel and rubber over there as well. Glossy coming around here and a matte finish over here. Build wise, it's really nice. I am a big fan of the G502 wired version, so it'd be quite nice to try this one out. So a great design to the mouse and a very nice, comfortable feel when holding it. Buttons wise, we have the following. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Next, let me show weight placement. So I'll open up the mouse and we'll place the weights in there. So this is the case with the weights in there and just to highlight the top row has the two gram ones and the bottom row has the four gram ones. Now in terms of the mouse, if I take that cover off and then that cover, you can just see the weight placement location. So the two gram ones go around here and the four gram ones go in there. Let's remove the weights from the case underneath where the weights were you can just see the indicators of which weights were there so all the two gram ones are at the top and the four gram ones are towards the bottom four gram weights can be placed into position like so and the two gram ones can be placed like this now there you go they're all in position we can close it back up and that's it they're all in so with all the weights in, it does give the mouse a much heavier feel to it. Obviously it's useful for someone who likes to have a heavier mouse rather than a lighter one. In terms of the USB dongle you see here, it can be stored within the underneath of the mouse. So if I flip this open and you can see a slight image of how it's recommending to store it. So they're saying like this, then you can take the cover put it back into position so nicely stored away. Next, I've got my sound level meter here and if we go quiet for a moment, ambient noise levels in the room are around 34 decibels and just to give you an idea of the loudness of the clicks and the click sound itself. Now we're at our computer, got the mouse here, the USB dongle to connect it to my computer and the cable for charging it plugged into my computer at the moment. So if I now plug in the dongle into the cable, let's see what happens on the computer. Let's start up the Logitech G Hub software. Now, just underneath the mouse, if I turn it on, you can see the lights come on, and there you go. That's what you're presented with. So now, here we go. So G502 light speed, you can see a picture of the mouse. Battery percentage is shown there, so 52%. If we click on there, you can see light sync, primary and logo. So primary is the side area just over there, and logo is here. I click on logo just to show. And if I turn off, it turns it off. Primary, if I turn it off, that turns off as well. Now if I go to logo, go to fixed, you can change that color, any other color you want, for example. Now if I go to cycle, you should see it cycle through colors. Next, if I go to breathing, and this is the breathing effect, you can set the color for the breathing as well. Let's now go to screen sampler. So this is where you can pick an area of the screen and it will copy the colors on there onto the mouse. Then you've got audio visualizer. It will change according to the audio going on. Next, coming down here to assignments. And this is where you'd assign what keys can do what. 
Now looking at the screen here, this is what's initially set up. And just to show here, DPI up and DPI down are the buttons just over here. Coming to the side, you've got keys, actions, macros. So you can record your own macros to perform multiple tasks at the same time. System keys there. So you can change these. Sensitivity, so this is where you can change the DPI settings on this. So if I flick through there, you can see what's set at the moment. And it's just should be as simple as just moving them around like this, just to get them changed. And there you go. Assign these to your mouse and restore factory defaults. Then if we look here, G502 lightspeed settings. So coming over here, you've got details like firmware version, battery level, power consumption, DPI lighting always on. So I'll turn that on. Device startup effect enable and low battery mode breathing red. So that's quite useful. At least it gives you that indication that the battery is running low. Your low battery mode will automatically switch on when battery drops below 15%. Onboard memory mode, that's currently off. If I click on there, you can save different profiles on there. Coming back now, and that's all the options you have available via the mouse. And as you can see, quite granular in there and a lot available. Now coming back to light sync, we can now see the lights on the side after I've turned them on via the settings option and I can quickly show you what that looks like. So cycle mode on there, you can see it changing. And if I go to breathing, screen sampler, and then audio sampler. So a number of different options on there. Now, if I change it back to breathing and we go for the logo to be breathing as well, sync lighting zones. And as you can see now, the two lighting areas are in breathing mode. Looks pretty cool. If I turn the lights off, you can just see it glowing away there. Now, if I unplug the dongle here, you lose connectivity and I can plug the cable directly in and this will charge up the mouse. If I push it all the way in, there you go. And then you've got an indicator at the bottom indicating that it's charging. Clicking in there, same functionality is available via the cable. And now the actual dongle isn't plugged in at the moment. So in terms of productivity, quite a nice mouse as well. With all the extra buttons, you can assign functionality like copy and paste if you wanted to. So if you wanted to quickly use one of the buttons to do that, back and forward on web pages as well. And in terms of the mouse, the scroll on there, that can be controlled as well. So if I do a search, say Geek Street, get that up here. And now as you can see, it's quite controlled how it's doing it. And now if I press this button there, it just flies along. Now in terms of back and forward, that'll take me back, that'll take me forward. So again, quick functionality, you don't have to mess around by clicking on the buttons on the browser itself. You can have shortcuts to do what you want. So in terms of gaming, it works well and normal productivity as well, works great. Next thing worth showing is the light sync option. So I've got my G915 keyboard here. So this is a wireless keyboard. Now, if you look on the app here on the G Hub software, you can see the keyboard. Now, if I click on the mouse, sync lighting options, if you click on that, you can link up with the G915. If you click in there, it's now linked up. So now if I make changes on this, so if we go to fixed, for instance, colors fixed, Change that now. See, color on both the devices have changed. Change the breathing. And again, same thing. Both the devices start breathing. And cycle. So it will color cycle. 
through the different colors there. So excellent functionality there. With most Logitech gaming devices that have light sync enabled, you can link them up and work in sync. So excellent bit of functionality here. Now, as you can see, I've got Fortnite running with the mouse in use. Performance wise, seems very good. Accuracy feels good as well on here. And yeah, very impressed. So comfort wise, very nice as well. So I've always been a fan of the wired version of this, so the G502. Um, so it's quite nice to try out the wireless version and doesn't disappoint in any way. Performance wise, it's very good. Accuracy seems nice as well. And obviously having the extra buttons gives you that extra edge when you're playing so that you can quickly switch to different things. Uh, DPI works well as well. So as you're switching around, So yeah, great experience with this. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of the Logitech G502 Lightspeed. Excellent gaming mouse, and I think it's a great mouse just for general productivity on a computer as well. So I hope this has helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.